Welcome to part one of building your My First Boat. In this part, we are going to look through how you measure and drill your panels, ready to be joined into the boat shape. To get ready, use the list to check that you have all of the parts that you need and all of the tools that you need. Lay out your boat parts and number them with a soft pencil. If you use a hard pencil, it will be difficult to fill and sand that when you do your final paint coat. This is the keel and this is the transom. We want to make sure that the keel and the transom go together. No, oh, they don't. So, in that case, you will get the transom, mark with a pencil the two bits that you need to sand back, and then go and sand them back, basically. The transom notch needs to sit squarely and snugly on the keel, so it gives your My First Boat lots of stability when you're rowing it. Use your measuring gauge and a soft pencil to draw a straight line 5mm up from the bottom, the aft, of part 1. Draw a 5mm line along both long edges of part 1, both edges of the part 2s and the bottom edge of the part 3, but not the top because that's where the gunnel will go. This is the bow, the pointy ends the bow, and then the butt end back here is the aft. So the bow is where the front of your boat will be, and then the aft is basically where the back will be. This is the transom. You might need to like clip a few bits off, but that will fit perfectly onto that, and later will be the back of your boat. Because the transom sits on the back of the keel, you'll need to measure 55mm from the end. Before you start measuring, your notches where you'll do the stitching. Now you're going to mark 100mm down the lines that you've drawn along the ends of part 1. Line up the aft end of part 2 with the line that you drew on the bottom of part 1. Remember the extra 5mm bit sticking out the back is what your transom is going to sit on, so don't count that when you're measuring 100mm. Then you're going to copy your 100mm marks from part 1 to part 2. Put them side by side and then get your grown up to carefully rotate or turn part 1 and 2 together along their length so that the marks match along their curves. Next, you're going to copy the marks for the second part two and the other side of part one. You'll have to repeat the process again to do the same to copy the marks from part two planks onto the bottom of your part three planks. Now it's time for the really exciting bit. You're going to go along all of the planks that you've marked and drill at the 10 millimeter marks. You'll need to use a 3.5mm drill bit so that you can fit your 2.5mm cable ties through the holes when you're stitching the boat together. And that's it! Once you've drilled all the holes, you're ready for part 2, stitching your boat together. Well done! You're on your way to building your My First Boat.